Day 22, Reactor Reboot. Uh, let me just run my solution. Maybe you can see what I've done here. We've got this data coming in. We've got this three-dimensional space with these cells inside. Some are on, some are off. They all start off. And we're to turn on all the cells in this range of X, Y, Z coordinates. And on and on, and then turn off. Uh, and then at the end, you say how many cells are on. And I made a, a class for point 3D and a class for range 3D with a method that will return all the points in that range. It can be a lot of points. You know, 3 by 3 by 3 is 27 points. Something bigger is going to result in a lot of points. So this solution will work for part 1, but not for part 2. Because just too much processing and too much memory. Here's the here's how to solve it for part one. We get all the lines of data. We create an empty set of the point 3D objects and then for every line we extract the coordinates using a regular expression and we map into int, turn it into a tuple. So we have a tuple of six coordinates and then in part one we're not including far so we're going to exclude everything, every, core, every line of input that contains a coordinate that's farther away than 50 units from zero. If we're including it, we print the line and then we create a range 3D object from the tuple of coordinates. Now range 3D, since it's a data class, has an automatically made dunder init method that will expect six parameters and it'll put the values in these six fields. That's why we use the splat because this is not a an invocation of range 3D with six arguments. There's only a single object here that's got the six things in it. So the splat means take out the six things and act as if I had given six separate arguments to range 3D. And then we get the points that are in the range, uh, which is this generator expression. And then if we're doing an on, we call update on that set to add all these points. And if we're doing an off, then we subtract these points from that set of points. And that's it. Let's run here. So we've got the lines. We've got our first line, which looks like this. It's an on. X ranges from minus 20 to 26, and so on. And now we get the coordinates. So we've got those six coordinates. And we will include it, so we print it. We create the range 3D. Now we've got this points. It's a generator object that'll give us a bunch of points. And this is an on, so now we're going to add those points to on points. So watch this. This is going to change from being empty to having a lot of points. Here we go. And on points now has lots and lots of points. So you can see how this could get impossible for a space with, uh, for a larger space. Okay, that's it. See you in part two, if I figure it out.